I have to say I'm a little taken off guard by this story, but I'm not really surprised that Justin Trudeau seemingly drunk tweeted at Taylor Swift publicly and it has gone what would be deemed as viral has been viewed by like millions of people. Yes, I'll repeat that. Justin Trudeau, the Prime Minister of Canada, has drunk tweeted Taylor Swift. If it's not a drunk tweet, then I think he's a little weird, more so than he than like the usual. Welcome back to another video, everybody. This is going to be kind of a weird one, but you know, sit back, relax, and get informed on what's happening. And before we get into it, I want to encourage you to give a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps grow the channel. Without further ado, let's take a look at just to fill you in on why he would tweet Taylor Swift to begin with, because the, the like these are two gaps and there's like something missing. So let's address the missing part. Taylor Swift um, ticket sales have been a controversy for like a long time. There's been bots that buy up the tickets on Ticketmaster or she just sells out really fast, which makes the prices of the tickets worth way more than what they would normally be. I don't understand this loophole, but this has gone into like the United States Senate and they have had like committee meetings, committee meetings. And it's just been like a really big thing in the entertainment industry of why are Taylor Swift's tickets so expensive? So we're going to get into this after an overwhelming demand for Taylor Swift tickets caused by a meltdown at Ticketmaster. Many outraged fans demand investigations and a shakeup for the ticketing giant, but a number of entertainment industry experts and even some Swifties, which is what Taylor Swift fans are called. Apparently have since been asking, does the singer deserve some of the blame? Taylor Swift says hundred percent. I have no idea what the, what's going on so she has removed herself from all blame which i don't know if is if if that's um true or not but it's what she has done some fans face myriad error messages while others endured an hours long wait in ticketmaster's virtual queue only to find uh there were no reasonably priced tickets left after pre-sales for swift's eras tour uh, eras tour began in november 15th so now you kind of know why there would be a need to message Taylor Swift publicly of like, hey, your tickets are overpriced. Why don't you come here? Well, this is what Justin Trudeau had to say, or I guess this is what Taylor Swift had to say. And then we'll look at what Trudeau had to say. Really can't contain my excitement because we're adding 14 new shows to the Eras tour. And I get to travel the world doing shows with Paramore, which... I guess is a friend of hers. Haley and I have been friends since we were teens in Nashville. And now we get to frolic around the UK and Europe next summer. I'm screaming. Ah, this is how I am reading that in my head, which I probably didn't have to do out loud. So here's a list of all of her locations. You've got France, Sweden, Portugal, Spain, France, UK, 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 Ireland, Netherlands, Switzerland, Italy, Germany, 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 Poland, Austria, I almost said Australia, right? And the UK. As you can see, America is not on the list, nor is Canada. But Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, who's now we know is a Swifty with 4.8 million views, has decided to say, it's me. Hi. I know places in Canada would love to have you. So don't make it another cruel summer. We hope to see you soon. That's how I assume Trudeau is talking in his head when he said this. And with 4.8 million views on this very weird tweet, I've never seen, I don't think anyone has seen the Prime Minister of Canada fangirl like this publicly, at least not for Taylor Swift. And so there's been like crazy amounts of backlash. I literally cannot afford to live and I'm so serious. Uh, that's kind of the state of Canada. Tell your friends to stop voting liberal. He may have nice hair, but nothing under it. Uh, loving this tweet, Justin Trudeau, though I heard our Canadian stated venues are too small for this particular Taylor Swift show, which is a combination of music concert and theater production. Are you drunk again on our tax paid money? Isn't Taylor Swift a little old for you? And then he says, not, not Trudeau's type because he's been caught in some scandals with other women, which is pretty funny. Personally, I think that he was drunk when he when he tweeted this. You are a pathetic excuse for a human being. She is likely just absolutely disgusted by you like everyone else in the world. Traitor, POS, GFY, middle, middle finger, middle finger. Then you have drunk tweet. Yeah, I mean... 
I think that's kind of the consensus. I mean, you have the conservative leader, Pierre Polyev, is, uh, I think he acknowledges, I can't remember where it was. It might have been on Facebook. I saw it somewhere. I should have sent it to myself for this, but it's kind of weird, guys. It's kind of weird. So I'll pass the question off to you as we're about halfway through this video here. How do you feel about this? How do you feel about Trudeau? Instead of working on the country, he's trying to get Taylor Swift to come to Canada because that's a priority here for Canada and the Canadian citizens. But it's not just us that feel you know, how bad Trudeau is. It's actually everywhere around the world, but more specifically in America, even Hollywood is blown away at the incompetence of Justin Trudeau. Pierre Polyev shared this video here that Trudeau told us uh, his billions of deficits would fix infrastructure, yet after eight years, Toronto traffic is becoming world famous as the worst. Even Tom Cruise can attest to that. Here we go. Toronto traffic is back in the news with Tom Cruise asking, what's up with the gridlock? Mm -hmm. The movie star is well known for performing his own stunts, but is shaking his head at Toronto traffic. Tom Cruise says the real Mission Impossible is navigating Toronto traffic. I've been in that traffic, all right? I've made movies in Toronto, and I've visited Toronto. I have friends in Toronto. Yeah. What's up with the traffic in Toronto? I don't know. Have they figured this out? It's been years since Cruz shot a movie here, but GTA drivers say the traffic has only gotten worse. It's definitely out of control. It's too much. Downtown, I try to avoid as much as possible. All the roads are pretty old, right? Manget suggested part two of Dead Reckoning be shot here in Toronto traffic. I have done that. Okay, I have driven without, in Toronto. Without road rage for okay, two hours. Yes, do, now, do you accept that challenge? I, you know what? I have done that challenge. <laughs> A challenge he's not sure he wants to take on again. Wow. This is a man who's traveled the world. Like Tom Cruise is a very famous person who's been to so many different places around the world, shot movies and, and the biggest, most best and, and, you know, uh, pish posh cities around the world and in the slums. And he has negative things to say about Toronto, that it's the worst. That's crazy. But of course I'm sure Trudeau isn't to blame. Oh, wait, India says he is. Yes, that's right. India news has something to say about Justin Trudeau and his recent visit. Imagine getting roasted by India news. In the past two weeks, Justin Trudeau has tried to portray himself as a champion of protesters, the farmers in India. The Canadian Prime Minister has meddled in India's internal affairs twice. On both occasions, he said a lot. But now Justin Trudeau has gone silent. Fingers are being raised at his own government. The government of Justin Trudeau spent billions of dollars of public funds in the name of pandemic aid, but there's no accountability. The Trudeau government refuses to say who got this money, and we're not talking about a small sum. We are talking about $240 billion here. $240 billion. And I mean, this isn't really something that Maybe I've been aware of this. Maybe you've been aware of this, but it's not on Canadian news. So it really sucks to hear this from Indian news, roasting Trudeau and just spitting facts. But that's our liberal government. I mean, we've spent how many billions, hundreds of billions of dollars on Ukraine relief now on this stuff. And it just it seems like it doesn't end. We have so much work to do here in our country. Our country once was very great, but we had like. 30 million people now we have 40 million people so a lot of work needs to be done to accommodate that not just housing but you have roads railways uh, a better airports a better flight system right it's a mess canada is a mess and i'm sure that i'm not the only one who's feeling the effects of a you know incompetent mismanaged government and it's very easy to pick on trudeau because well he's Drunk tweets Taylor Swift. Of course, we're going to pick on him. He, I think he deserves it. Love to know what you guys think about this video down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for making it to the end of the video. If you want to support the channel financially, you can do so by checking out the merch shop linked right up there. Or if you want to do something for free, which is also absolutely acceptable and highly encouraged, you can subscribe right there. If you want to continue watching videos like this, you can do so by clicking or tapping right there to watch the next upcoming video. And if you want to watch a little bit of different content, but also Canadian stuff, you can do so by clicking right up there. That's my second channel, House of Canada, also known as the House of Commons Highlights. Thank Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.